In my career as a data scientist, I've personally had access to hundreds of billions of data points across finance, healthcare, and defense. And frankly, it felt uncomfortable to have explicit access to such sensitive information. It's no wonder that it can take up to 18 months to get provision to access for a single data set. And yet your organization's future depends on being agile and leveraging advanced analytics. So how do we solve this catch 22? The answer lies in understanding the root cause of the problem, and it's twofold. The first is that data must be centralized for analytics. And the second is that a data analyst has to be provisioned a full table of data in order to do her job. The reality of enterprise data is that information barriers prevent both of these things. Data is getting more fragmented, even within the cloud, and provisioning a billion financial records to anyone imposes massive insider threat risks. Data Fleet solves this. It's a privacy-preserving analytics API that unifies your private and distributed data for safe and rapid access. It's a software platform that can run in your infrastructure. And ultimately, it can lower your IT analytics costs, reduce organizational risk, and increase your business's agility. Let's see how it works. The power of data fleets rests on two breakthrough capabilities. We employ mathematical definitions of privacy to safeguard all of your sensitive data, and we federate analytics across multiple disparate data sets, thereby eliminating the need for aggregation. Let's unpack that, starting with privacy. We provide a privacy mechanism that acts like a firewall in between the analyst and the data. Analysts perform data transformation, machine learning, and business analytics, all without having row-level access to the data itself. And we mathematically verify that the results don't expose any sensitive information. The approach eliminates security risks, accelerates access provisioning and compliance, and unlocks new data sets. In five years, we'll look back to now and think it was crazy that we used to provision a whole table of data to an analyst for him to do his job. The second pillar of our approach is federating the analytics. Data Fleets enables virtually connecting databases that are all protected by our privacy firewall. Datasets can exist across cloud, on-premise, across jurisdictions, and even across third parties. And the analysts can merge, transform, and analyze the data nonetheless. We've productized these capabilities to fit directly into the enterprise data stack. Analysts can use their tools of choice to analyze data from any common data source residing across different compute infrastructures. And we've made it simple to use. Onboard a new data set in 10 minutes or less and begin leveraging it compliantly for analytics immediately. With our financial institution partners in the FinTech Lab, we're applying our product to exciting new use cases. Data Fleet's privacy firewall can analyze across information barriers. So for example, you can perform analytics across the Chinese wall to leverage retail and corporate accounts data to inform other parts of the business, like how is COVID-19 impacting consumer and SMB behavior? Data Fleets also accelerates working with third parties for alternative data sets. So you can use it to evaluate the lift you get from a data set before you actually onboard that data and hence its liability into your environment. As you're evaluating new data for models in a post-COVID world, you can work with data fleets to try before you buy. Lastly, because we can unify data across jurisdictions, we're applying data fleets to identify global fraud patterns and a POC with a top universal bank. This isn't a new problem, and there are several technologies that have emerged attacking it. Distributed SQL addresses the distributed nature of the data, while encryption in use encrypts the data itself during processing. Data masking tries to scrub out sensitive information, and differential privacy provides mathematical definitions of the data proce processing to safeguard the data sets. Data Fleets is differentiated by its multidisciplinary approach. We leverage technological breakthroughs from the past 12 months that allow privacy-enhancing technologies technologies to be used in concert with one another, such that the outcome is greater than the sum of the parts. Six characteristics emerge as the most important aspects of a system like ours. Speed, simplicity, analytics utility, multi-party multi support, privacy, and security robustness. 
The result of our unique approach is a future-proofed system without compromises. Across the six criteria, DataFleet offers unparalleled holistic performance. And you don't have to take our word for it. Uptake for this approach is widespread, with applications emerging in technology, healthcare, financial services, and manufacturing. I'm David Gilmore, the CEO of DataFleets, and I left Stanford a few years ago to co-found DataFleets with Nick Elledge to solve this problem. Our team is composed of veteran entrepreneurs, battle-tested engineers, and private AI researchers. And we're grateful to be in a strong financial position backed by some of the world's top enterprise AI and security firms, including, including Ame Cloud, Murado, Lightspeed, and Peterson Ventures. An experienced board of advisors guides us, including Marty Chavez, the former CIO and CFO of Goldman Sachs, and the president of the Board of Overseers of Harvard University, and Andrew Trask, a notable privacy AI researcher and my friend and former research partner. Your next step is to sign up for a short demo at datafleets.com. Will you do that? I personally guarantee it will be worth your time, and we look forward to earning your trust. Once again, we're data fleets, and we privately and securely unify all of your data for analytics. Thank you.